Hey there, Brandon, thank you very much. As uh, you mentioned, I work for MLB.com, so I'm supposed to be an uh, impartial fan, but having pinstripes in my blood, I'm a little sad that you didn't have other plants tonight. But uh, thank you for coming and being here. I made her wear an Orioles hat earlier, and you can check Twitter for it. I did. This thing is, I don't know if I want to hold this right now. <laughs> um, thanks, Sean. <laughs> So at the Yogi Berra Museum and Learning Center, our mission is really to teach kids about being better teammates, about being better people, about compassion, about humility, and about really just treating everybody that you meet with the respect that they deserve. And in April of 2013, I think it was, Hudson and Leah and Sam Marciano came out and told us about the mission of Athlete Ally, which really is exactly the same as the, the mission of the, of the museum. And it really just made a lot of sense for us to partner with them. Um, when Grandpa was playing, obviously, it was a lot more about racial integration and equality. Now it's about LGBT integration and equality and tolerance and acceptance. But at the end of the day, it really is just all about respect. Um, <laughs> you... The one thing everybody needs to understand about my grandfather is that he's a very, very simple guy. He has the most forthright moral compass in the history of the world. And for him, there really are no shades of gray. Everything is black or white, right or wrong, yes or no. And for him, partnering with Athlete Ally was really just the right thing to do. My grandmother is a much more complex thinker, thinker God bless her. And I remember after meeting with, with Hudson and Leah, um, she just said in this sing-song way that she had, it's 2013, it's about time we all just got with the program. And that was what, um, <laughs> she was great. That was really what, literally what we did. We did this allyship exhibit and we created programming around it to help kids learn about inclusion on, on all levels. Um, you can come to the museum. You can see everything we have out there. If you haven't been, it's a really great place. We have these really embarrassingly sappy love letters that my grandma, grandfather wrote to my grandmother in the 50s. We've got all of his World Series rings in this very impressive glittery case. And we have some, uh, his MVP plaques and World Series trophies and a lot of amazing stuff. We do great programs. You can also read all of his yogiisms up on the wall that everyone finds very funny. Nobody goes there anymore. It's too crowded. Um, it ain't over till it's over. If you come to a fork in the road, take it. Martina Navratilova told me before that her favorite is it gets late early out there and she uses that one sometimes. Um, people ask me what my favorite one is and I get some funny looks because it's a little bit nostalgic, maybe a little bit sad, certainly a little different than the others. And it's the future ain't what it used to be. But <laughs> I think tonight it is uh, very applicable but in a much more hopeful sense because Due to the hard work and the dedication of everybody in this room, the future in the LGBT community really isn't what it used to be, and that is pretty awesome. Um, <laughs> so thank you very much for this award on behalf of my Grammy Carmen, my Grandpa Yogi, the staff and board of the Yogi Berra Museum and Learning Center. People are here right now. Um, I'm sorry that he couldn't be here to accept the award himself, but he's 89 and not so mobile, and I think his late nights in New York City are long behind him. Um, but I will hand deliver that tomorrow, along with a big smooch from everybody here. So thanks so much. Thank you.